All right, my truth and wisdom seekers. We are in the continued battle to try to verify Gerard's uh, transformer free energy mystery that he's presented. What we've added this time around, actually, is onto this first pole pig. Uh, we have up here a high voltage probe that's uh, just to, just across the two ears of the pole transformer, um, and it, it's it's wires wandering over here to channel one of our scope, um, and also on 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 the pole pig com coming off the the high voltage wire up here and one wandering down and and off the other wire wire here. It, it's going to this electrostatic voltmeter, uh, which is a really wonderful device, and uh, it can read AC or DC voltage, and it's got multiple scales on it, measuring on how you have an option in the back set, set, set up. It'll read up to 30,000 volts. Um, so we have that hooked up across there to get voltage on top of the pole pig. We have uh, this probe up here to get waveform on the pole pig. Um, and while we're over here, you, you, you see this battery cable, the big black and red, 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 red leads going to the case. They, they are just coming right along here and clipped on to this uh, junction box yeah, that I know is grounded. Um, so just a source of ground is all we have there. Um, of course, we're com coming, uh, the, the, the back of both pole pigs is connected together. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. The front is going through my, my switch here. And then we're taking the output of this pole transformer and coming 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 down uh, of course we're looking at current through this in induction coil on on the meter the meter's being driven by this side we're coming out, out, out of this side going up through this little uh, low resistance current so we can monitor current coming out of this uh, on the scope or at least scope the current current coming out of that and that's going into channel two of the scope so again, channel one will be reading the high voltage side of the pole pig in the waveform there. Channel two will be reading the low voltage side of pole pig number two and the waveform there. Um, for loads, we're coming out, out, out of our plug, going into this uh, power strip here, and it's just a convenient way to plug multiple things in. Um, of course, one of the things that's plugged in is a 100 watt light bulb and uh, a couple of the other things that are plugged into it are a uh, heat gun, a hair dryer, and a little heater. Uh, so I can vary the wattage, uh, the load drawn on the transformer. As, and of course all the power is being provided uh, down, down this wire. I'm not using one half of the McCulloch generator, I'm taking the other half and uh, going going into the low voltage side um, at the 110 volt tap uh, because that's what the McCulloch generator puts out. In any anyway, uh, our wire, this big nice 64 cable, comes wandering over here and wanders on down this way to our McCulloch generator, which we are now going to start in do the test. So, uh, let me see if I can hold the camera with one hand while pulling on the rope here. All right, 
our lights on. Uh, so the McCulloch generator is uh, transferring through all of these. And look at the electrostatic meter here. We're on the second scale. Uh, I don't know if you can quite see, see this, but it is showing, let's see, 14,246, looks like 14,850 volts, if I read that meter correctly. And what's really interesting, if you look at the weight waveforms here, we have our rectangular waves. Uh, and they are transmitting through the transformers. Um, of course, the, the, the top wave is the voltage uh, out of transformer one, and the bottom wave is the current going to the load out of transformer number two. Um, and you see a, a, a shift in, in, in phase uh, between uh, tra transformer one when 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 transformer one's at, at a peak of voltage uh, positive transformer two happens to be putting out a negative uh, peak that that can be rearranged simply by s swapping the wires on the transformers so so really they are truly in phase with each other and what we're going to do here is we're going to start uh, putting on different different loads like like I said right now we just have the 100 watt light bulb um, so we're going to turn on some different loads here first load we'll put on is this heater and uh, watch watch the waveform it'll ch change a little bit from well, of course, the one the one reading went off scale because it's too high. But notice how it looks even more sinusoidal than it did before. And let me turn on another another heat uh, air dryer here. And turn on the last one. So that's, that's interesting, as you turn on additional loads, the waveform gets closer and closer to a sine wave. Um, and what I wasn't looking at uh, here on, on the video, but I was, was watching it, well actually I've done all these experiments before, so that's why I didn't pay attention, is uh, the, the current coming out of here, out, out, out of this to drive all these loads right now, you see we're pulling 25 and a half amps, 2.4 kilowatts on this meter. It's showing power going in. Um, 26 amps, 26.2, 2.5 kilowatts. So we're putting in 2.5. We're getting out 2.4. Um, we're not over unity by any means. Um, we're, 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 we're under here, uh, but it, it is it is working. And and the interesting thing, and this experiment showed that, uh, especially as we turn off loads, um, the rectangular waveform does transmit through the transformers. So we'll. Uh, post this video and see what everyone thinks of it um, and let's see our transformers is showing 1400 volts just a little bit above that right now um, see if we can focus in on that I don't know if you can see that needle waving back and forth but it's right above the 1400 which makes sense these are 14.4 transformers
anyway. We'll uh, post this and see what everyone thinks.